Penn State football is the perfect time to cheer in your school, hang out with friends, and have a good time. However, Penn State football causes externalities that many are not aware of. An externality exists when a private class diverges from a school. Pollution and traffic congestion are two of the externalities created by the football game. However, these externalities are considered inframarginal because the solution itself is too costly for the government to intervene. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second, go! Yes, I got them! Did you get them? We... What? It's saying they're sold out. It's only been 59 seconds. How are they sold out? I don't know! What are you going to do? I don't know, I'm going to have to get them before every game. It's going to be so expensive. I'm so excited for the game today, and I'm so happy you got tickets. How'd you do it? Well, there's this group on Facebook for people selling tickets, and I contacted somebody and told them I was interested. That's so good. How much How much is, are they selling it for? $240. $240? Work. It's going to be worth it. I spent about $200 on the entire season. Listen, it's the Michigan game. Everybody's going to be there. We're going to win. It's going to be awesome. i got, I got to go meet the guy. Let's go now. Okay. Building. Hey, are you from Paris from Facebook? Yeah. Uh, just do you want a ticket? Yep. $240. There you go. Have fun at the game. Thanks so much. Crazy for spending $240 on one ticket. I am so happy I spent $200 on the whole season. $240 for the Michigan ticket. I'm going to have the best time at the game. I'm so happy I did this. $240 is such a good deal. I can't wait to spend that money. That was such a good game. I know. Like, $240 was so worth it. I, I agree, too. I went to London to miss that game. I would have spent that much. Why did Risa end up spending so much more money than Morgan did? Well, when the ticket price is set below equilibrium level, this means that more Penn State students are trying to get into Beaver Stadium than the actual seats available. A shortage is ordinarily resolved with higher ticket prices, but since Penn State had already announced their ticket prices and had them printed on the ticket, they were unable to adjust them. This sets the market out of balance, and since so many Penn State students are willing to spend more money than the actual ticket price, this creates a secondary market, known as the black market. The black market performs a rationing mechanism by charging sur a surplus on top of the actual ticket price. Now let's consider our example with Risa and Morgan. If you're lucky enough like Morgan to get season tickets, then you only had to get, spend about $25 per ticket. People such as Risa, however, were less fortunate. Because this value is nowhere close to the fair market value, resellers such as Powers were getting about $240. Now let's examine the market graphically. The quantity demanded at point B is significantly larger than the quantity supplied at point A. Notice that the supply curve is a straight vertical line because the amount of seats in Beaver Stadium is a fixed value. Now note that since Paris sold the ticket for $240, the quantity demanded significantly declined. Since scalpers don't have control over the amount of tickets that are actually printed, they ration the amount available to the people who most value the ticket. This is exactly how markets are supposed to work. The people who most value the ticket should be the ones who end up getting them.